Gamers, we're back. So a lot of you guys have been finding out about my music and shit like that. I don't really talk about it too much on my channel just because, you know, I like just making content. You guys have found out that I got a lot of features on my last project named Rogue. I'm gonna link it down in the description. Pretty much, I got Sofago featured on it. I got Summers on it. I got Surf. I got Goonie. A bunch of just underground, crazy, fire-ass people. <laughs> A lot of you guys have been asking me like how I got that, you know, how to get that for yourself, I guess. I figured, you know, there's a lot of wrong ways to go about it. So I may as well like tell you how to get a feature from an underground artist or you know, at least tips and you know, what to avoid, what to, you know, steer towards type of shit. Just from personal experience, you know, cause I bought a few features, you know, uh, not like tons, but I mean, I bought a few. I think buying features is a crazy good thing to do. If you're trying to appeal to their audience, that's literally the best thing you could possibly do is get a feature from them. Before we get into it, I just want to say, drop a little sub, man. We're trying to get to 3K. Uh, I'm posting hella for you guys, and I'm enjoying YouTube a lot right now. I'm trying to make some unique content and just cool shit all around that you guys can actually just sit down and watch and maybe take something from it, you know? But anyways, back to the topic. So the first thing you want to do is just shoot them a DM. But I can't stress this enough. This first DM is the most important thing of all time. <laughs> you need to make sure your money ready. So before you even DM them, you got to make sure you have money to spend on the go. You know what I mean? Like a lot of these artists make most of their money off of these features, you know, and they just don't want to put up with any bullshit, especially a lot of people in Slay and shit like that. Like they will genuinely block you. I got friends who have literally just been blocked for like asking how much they charge. And then being like, cool, I'll pay this Friday and then blocked. <laughs> so yeah, definitely make sure that you have like money ready to spend. It's not the same with every artist. A lot of artists won't do that, but some artists are like that for some reason. Money talks, my friends. Another big thing is knowing what you're buying. And there's two things that they're probably going to offer you. Those two things is either a feature or an open. Now, the difference between a feature and an open are pretty different. But when it comes down to a listening point of view, when it's all finished, it's the same thing. So a feature would be a song of yours with like an open verse or an open chorus that you send over to him and then he has to spend the time, he being the artist, has to spend the time to, you know, make his part up and then send it back to you. If the artist is actually able to do that and actually like, goes through with it, that's an amazing fucking thing to do. It's awesome, which can avoid this next thing, which is opens and opens are sick, opens are awesome. But nine times out of 10, that artist has sold that open fucking hundreds of times. Which, I mean, you gotta just prepare for it. Don't hate the player, hit the game, you know? They gotta sell opens. Don't be mad at them. I've been told that some opens I bought were exclusive and nobody had them, but everybody and their mom had one. <laughs> but I mean, like, hey, at the end of the day, you just gotta make the better song, so. To break it down, what an open is is pretty much, it's a song he made with, usually it'll be an open verse and it'll just be his chorus or vice versa, it'll just be a verse and an open chorus, right? and he sends it to you and you have to do the rest, which is honestly way more preferable so then you don't have to wait on him to go to the studio or anything like that, you know? I would definitely prefer doing opens rather than the other way around, you know? Another thing I really wanna say is, you know, don't spam. It sounds stupid because it's common sense, but don't spam. Don't pretend like you guys are like super close. Like it, at the end of the day, it's just business. And that's all it is. He has a platform that can promote you. You have money. You're hoping to profit from it, so you pay him. It's business. At the end of the day, that's that's all it is. You know, so like, if if something more comes out of it, that's awesome. That's great. But don't expect more to come out of it. Now, this is a big one. To avoid getting scammed, I would suggest only paying on PayPal. But do not, I repeat, do not pay on friends and family. If you pay with friends and family, it fully disables you ever to get a refund and you will be fucked if you get scammed. A lot of these artists scam, which is really weird to me because I mean like, you're making music, you know, you're supposed to like doing this shit and especially if you're getting paid to do that, you know, that's awesome. You should, you should really take advantage of it rather than scamming your fans. But um, I mean, a lot of artists do it. So you just gotta be really careful of that shit because it's a real thing. People actually do this shit. And I mean, I guess another thing to take note of is whether it's even possible for you to get that feature. You can't go DM Lil Uzi and be like, yo, let me get a feature, I'm money ready, and expect him to be like, bet, fucking million dollars. <laughs> like, he's not gonna, <laughs> he's not gonna respond. But that's obvious, but I feel like some people might not know that. The reason I got that Sofago feature was because he was super underground when I found him. I found him when he had like 10K monthly listeners and I just listened to him for a long time and shit. But yeah, almost all these features, I just DM'd the artist being like, yo, how much for a feature slash open, I'm money ready, let me know how much it is. You know, within like 30 minutes to like two hours, almost they all responded type of shit, you know? For the opens that I did get, like Summers and Sofago, they were like really cool about it. They were, I don't know, they're, 
I, I was expecting them to be kind of like, I don't, not douchey, but you know what I mean? Like, just be like straight to the cut, but they were cool. They were just, you know, at the end of the day, everybody's just a person. So it's really cool. But anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys press the like button. Uh, drop that sub, man. We're trying to hit 3K once again. Let me know if you like these types of videos. I like doing them. So if you guys have any questions or something like that that I can make a video on, I, you know, drop it down below in the comments. I'll do a video on it and I'll shout out your comments. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. I'll see ya. <laughs>